Hey, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to clean up our theme and I'm going to push all the code on GitHub. This way you will have a clean and nice theme when you are developing in the future. The reason I do this clean up theme and it is very important is because uh, when a developer look at your theme, they will appreciate how clean you have written your code and they will also recommend your theme for their, their future client. So it is very important that when you design the theme, uh, make sure you write a proper structure of the code so the developer who look at it does not say no we are not going to use it in the next project because of this this and that so cleaning up is very important in the beginning we clone the down team the down team was full of a lot of css right i remove all of them from the assets because we don't need them and we don't have to put them on every section this is our theme and we are using tailwind css so we don't have to do all of those things and also Tailwind GIT, which removes all the extra CSS that we do not use. It only uses the CSS that we use in our project. That's why in the asset directory now, we have app.css and app.js. I just removed this now, and then I did a team deploy to bring all those, to deploy all those changes. I removed like 69 files. That is a lot of CSS and JavaScript. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to run a theme watch also and clean up some other files in my directory also. One of the good thing about uh, list file is when you duplicate the theme, it is going to be in a stand, like in one minute it duplicate the theme. I have seen some themes with over, I don't know, over a thousand files because the developer who did the theme development put a lot of assets in their folder. Images, PNG and a lot of like CSS files in this folder and that is taking a lot of time. To, to duplicate the theme or bring any changes. It is also confusing a bit. So now I'm going to open this theme.liquid and as you know, this is down and they have this CSS style in here. There is nothing wrong with this. It is fine to be here, but for me, I feel like this CSS file should be extracted in its own snippet. That's, that's why I'm going to um, come here. First of all, these are all the related um, variables that we have scrolling down to the bottom this is end of CSS I'm going to cut everything let's come to the snippet folder and I will call it head styles that liquid so we will paste it here nothing fancy but if we ever want to bring any changes we come here and bring the changes and now our file is much cleaner so in here I'm going to render this head styles instead of that we remove also the base.css because we don't need it instead of base.css we have this app.css which compile automatically from the source directory now you can see it is much cleaner like this file is clean and now i love like working with this and at the bottom also we have these scripts now as you develop your theme and add more feature this script become like a bit more of this so it is good to have it, its own file also we never use any of them but i think for shopify it is important to have this file uh, it will just make the shop url available via javascript and a lot of apps might use this so what i can do is i can come to this snippet and i'll say footer scripts not style these are the javascript so I'm going to paste all of this in here. And again, I'm going to include this footer scripts. Render. That's it. Now you can see our theme is much clean and nice. There is also a theme check uh, with, with the Shopify CLI. You can do a theme check also. If you run Shopify theme check, it's going to check your theme if you have any like anything wrong if you have not used the, the liquid properly it is going to highlight those and you can update those versions also but for me it is totally fine and everything is looking great one thing i forgot to add is this uh, predictive search i might create a video in the future but the purpose of the course is to teach you how to do something right now you know how you can use alpine.js how you can do edit how you can send ajax requests and a lot of things you have already learned for me, it is not like um, it is not important for me to add this because you know how to do it. I have covered much, much advanced topic than this, and there are some other things which come in the future video. But for now, I feel our theme is much cleaner now. If I refresh this, let's see if nothing breaks. No, nothing 
break and add to cart should work as expected. Yes, this is working just fine. Now our theme is much cleaner and you can check the latest version of the code on GitHub. In the next video, I'm going to add some more sections so you can understand how easy it is to duplicate a section from one theme to another theme. I'm going to use those sections with already created for other clients. I will add it in this theme and I'll show you uh, how you can do it, including some sliders, which custom slider comes. Uh, I hope this video has been informative. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.